Hey guys, welcome back to World of Warships. Today we're taking a look at another new ship, this time the Sharnors 43. We've had the Sharnors in the game for a long time. It's been a little power crept, I think is fair to say. This is a new premium ship that is different than the regular Sharnors. Slightly. Uh, it's very, very minor changes here. This ship will be available in the upcoming patch. During the Holiday in Santa City event, or Battle Pass, or whatever it is, as the 10th phase in the free track. So it sounds like a Battle Pass to me, um, and it's in the free track at least, but the 10th phase might be difficult to get to. We don't really know just yet, but it is available in that, so keep an eye out for that once the patch does drop. But the difference is, Sharnors 43 is pretty much the exact same ship. The hull is going to be the same, so you're looking at decent armor. It's pretty good at this tier, to be honest with you, given how much overmatch there tends to be. So having this plating is very, very nice. You get an icebreaker. It's really quite well armored. This ship, though, does have worse main guns, because the reload is just longer. Regular Sharnhorst has a 20 second reload, here we have a 23 second reload. Our range is also slightly reduced here, but the HE shells are exactly the same. The AP shells are pretty close to being the same, uh, it's just the fuse times that has been changed. Um, the short fuses on the regular Sharnhorst made them a little better against cruisers. Here we just have regular fuses, so that's just the time it takes for the shell to explode after it hits something that will arm it, basically. But what do we get instead? The buffs are gonna be to your secondaries. You actually just have a better reload on your secondaries. It's the same secondaries, just the reload is gonna be better. So that's definitely what we're gonna lead into today. So we're going with Luchins with a secondary build, of course. But other than that, we also get the same torpedoes with a faster reload again. You can kind of see the theme here, a bit more brawling focus, Sharnorst, a little more focus on the auxiliary armaments rather than just the main armaments. So a 45 second reload here on these torpedoes, up from 60, I believe, 68 actually. Um, so quite the improvement there on torpedo DPM. So if you do get into a brawl with one of these things, if it says Sharnhorse 43, those torps are coming back up really quick. So just be careful of that when you are brawling this thing. Uh, the concealment is gonna be the same, maneuverability is gonna be the same, a defense, very similar to a Sharnhorse. So don't expect too big a changes, but I will say, considering it's hopefully going to be free for people to pick up over the holiday season, I think this is going to be a fun one, especially in ranked. We also get an engine boost. So to go along with enhancing our close range firepower, we're going to get into those ranges a little bit quicker. 15% engine boost is a lot. And look at that action time, 234 seconds with an 85 second cooldown. That is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Keep in mind that does include the engine boost module here, so we are improving that, but that's a long time for a very powerful engine boost, so this could be a ridiculously fun ship to just full send it in. And I'm going to try it out today in randoms for you guys, of course, but this is definitely a ship you want to be playing into ranked or any sort of tier 7 matchmaker where you don't have to deal with tier 8s or tier 9s. Just real quick, here is the build. I am going with IFAG here simply because... We might fight tier 8s and 9s, and that's where we actually want IFHE, 32 mil pen. But against your own tier, these smaller caliber secondaries actually still pen 26 millimeters of armor, which is more than enough to deal with ships at this tier, because they're not exactly the best armored ships in the world at tier 7. <laughs> yeah, so against tier 7s, you probably don't need it, but against higher tiers, I think I will run it. But that is about it for the Sharnhorse 43. Very similar ship. I hope it's going to be fun. Uh, let's see what I can do in a few games. All right, guys, this first game may not go so well. Um, we're kind of getting left up on our own here in the sea cap. But what I will say, popping engine boost off spawn gets you to the corner of the map very, very quickly. It's pretty fun. Uh, the speed is very, very nice. Do have a destroy here? And more than likely, we have also a submarine to deal with, which is going to be a little unfortunate. But that's okay. We'll try and make it work. We do at least have plain ASWs here. So that's uh, something that will help us out a little bit here. Wow, this DD is being very, very aggressive. And we do get to go dark here, which is pretty nice. And yeah, you know it. I'm going to turn out. <laughs> I'm a little scared. 
of what's around here. Specifically the... Wait, what are you doing? Are you just yellowing? What? What is this play? Very strange. Well, we have secondaries. Oh my goodness, look at that accuracy. <laughs> oh, we're gonna torp him out, guys. We're gonna torp him out! Ah, <laughs> uh, classic. Classic. You'll have to see it. Although they're still capping. Very worried about that submarine. Ah, yes. There he is. <laughs> Oh no, guys. This might not be so good. And we're actually out of engine boost as well. He's got some pretty scary torps. So that we will have to be a little bit aware of. We can torp him back, maybe. Got a flooding, got a splash damage. Yeah, there's those scary torpedoes. Should swap to the HE2, by the way. Okay. Well, you know, not the, like, kind of game you want to be playing in a battleship like this one, but... Doing okay. Imagine he surfaces to eat those. How funny would that be? Okay, we get some more hits. He's 100% coming around this corner. This torp reload's kind of spicy, though. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna turn back in to try and surprise him. Get a few hits there. Nice. And our speed boost might carry us around this corner on him. I hope. I don't know, but we are pretty quick right now. <laughs> no, I missed it. Come on, we're quick enough, right? We're quick enough! Please! Yes, we did it. Okay. We're gaming. <laughs> so scary. Okay, we got an NC, though. He's not moving very quick, so we'll do that. All right, we're gonna send it into these two. I'm gonna use a heal. Probably should have done that a little sooner. Two tier eight battleships, not exactly what you want to see. Tier eight sub, not exactly what you want to see. Let's be honest. But we're gaming. Both sides action. Here we go. I don't even think he's here. Sure. Okay. Sure, Mr. NC. I see you coming for a ram. I'd prefer you didn't. Actually, we want this one over here. For you. So we do that. And then these are... Oh, they're not actually loaded yet. Okay. Look at us going, man. Oh, I don't quite outturn his guns. Or outspeed them here. Uh, oh, we're so lucky. <laughs> um, okay. Not bad. Not bad, Charnors, not bad. <laughs> 160. 165, guys. How wild is that? <laughs> 
All right, now what? Sub still, probably? Yeah, sub still. Oh my goodness, look at that prediction. That is unbelievable. Just a simple guess. Imagine, though? <laughs> okay, we are gaming. Let's see, can we... Can we win this game? I don't know. Okay, the Roma got our sub. That's not amazing for us. And long range accuracy, not gonna be our strong suit either. But maybe we can help out here. We need to help our cruiser stay alive here. And our DD too, because he's shooting at this point. I'm not sure why. Okay, our DD is making a mistake. But maybe we can trade the cruiser out. It'll lead a lot at these ranges. And of course, we are not using a main gun build, so we can't expect too much out of these main guns right now. Hmm, didn't do it enough. Wasn't high enough on the lead. Led too far left, right? The cooldown on this uh, engine boost isn't too bad, actually. Fortunately, given the amount of uptime it has. They could have easily made it longer. I think their DD is going to go for A. Okay, there we go. Is that a Kraken I see? Oh my goodness. Ridiculous. Yes, okay. DD went for A, so we're going to go get in B. And hopefully kill the Roma. Oh, it was Roma in A. Okay, so the DD is in front of us then. All right. That is fine. Roma got to A way faster than I thought, actually. So I think the DD's actually get to come around this corner. Given where he was. Or he's here. That was dark for long enough. I'm going to guess he's there. Oh, he got one of my turrets. That sucks. Yeah, we'll, we'll avoid the Roma's guns for now. Launch a fighter. What? He's there. Okay, did not expect that. We can just kind of spam torps. How cool is that? I got so lucky his AA was on. Oh, you're greeting for it. Okay. Okay, this DD has made a massive error. Don't know why. But he did. He even let me get the cap. The ship is on fire. Come on, die, please. Thank you. Now for the Roma. The smart play here is to just wait. Because we win if we just live. But since when do I make the smart play, right? He's going to turn out. I guess we'll see how much he does to us here. Eh, that's not too bad. I'm okay with yellowing it. Our victory is <laughs> Definitely need some fires, though. Definitely want some fires, video game. Engine boost deactivated. Let me go this way, too. I want to make it as hard as possible for him to get good hits on me. And I want to give him, force him to go broadside to me as well. That's the other thing. We're almost got a lot of armor though, so I don't expect our AP to do a whole lot. Yeah, he's got a shot ready. 
angle in a bit. Belt. No, that's more than I wanted to hit. Okay, finally got a fire. Let's go. Come on, secondaries. You can do it. Unfortunately, we don't have another heal. There's a fire. Good. Okay, another one. Come on, belt armor. Wow. Still doing a lot through that, even. It's annoying. Okay, get the insta fire. Let's go. That helps a lot. Come on, belt armor. Round three. Nah, I am too far forward for the belt armor to do anything. Wow, he got 10 there. That is shocking. Roma typically has pretty bad accuracy, in my experience. Um, but yeah, this guy got some great RNG on his shots. But there you go. Bit of the squishiness of Sharnhorst, I suppose. Yeah, that's pretty ridiculous, though. 227 in an up tier against a sub? <laughs> kind of all on our own in the north and managed to hold it down? That's wild. Uh, this ship is crazy, man. Yeah, that's that's the base XP I was thinking. That is ridiculous. <laughs> um, yeah, pretty good, pretty good damage. Very fairly evenly split, honestly. Main guns, torps, uh, secondaries, fires as well, doing some work. That's a fun ship to play, guys. Look at that. We kind of two v one their battleships up in the north. Look at that. Sixty seven and sixty k respectively. The torpedo reload is wild for those pushes. I love that. Uh, and the speed boost is awesome as well. Really, really fun. Uh, the speed boost makes a massive difference in how the ship uh, the ship plays. Um, yeah, but it's still it's still a Sharnor. It's a little worse in the main guns aspect. Um, kind of surprised we took so much damage while angled, you know, to Aroma. But hey, those shots can happen. Um, but typically it will be a little tankier than that, what we demonstrated there at the end. The secondaries though, very, very, very fun. And then I'm surprised how much the torpedo reload mattered in that game. <laughs> we hit a lot of torpedoes. Uh, that usually doesn't happen. And, uh, that one was so good. I'm just playing the one game. That's it. We played one game and got that one. Uh, you can probably expect to see this on the channel some more, but uh, I think that's enough of a preview to show what this thing is capable of. Pretty cool that it's a free-to-earn ship, I hope. Uh, still remains to be seen how difficult that 10th phase is going to be to get to. Uh, but as far as ships go, and when it comes to these free-to-earn ships, I think this one is going to be a pretty strong one, and more importantly, a lot of fun to play. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.